Hello everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. So this video lesson is the continuation of UAM topic. So in order for you to easily understood on how to use the different formula in UAM sample problem using the what we call horizontal dimension, I'll create a video for sample problem. So let's get started. In our previous video lesson, we already talked about the UAM and a ball rolling down an inclined plane. So we can assume that it experiences the what we call UAM or the what we call uniformly accelerated motion. So this means that the ball's acceleration is constant as it moves down the slope. So which in turn uh, that the force acting on the ball is constant. So as the ball moves down the slope, its speed will increase and its acceleration will remain constant. So once it reaches the bottom of the slope, the ball will have reached its maximum speed. Okay? So, in solving problems in UAM, always remember this different formula. So the first one is we have the VF equals AP plus the VI. The next one, we have the D equals to VIT plus one half AT squared. Then the next one, we have the D equals to VF plus VI divide by the 2, then multiply by the T. And the last one but not the least, we have the VF squared equals the VI squared plus 2 AD. And there are different variables that we are going to encounter. So, the first one is we have the VF. So, when we say VF, that is the what we call final velocity. That is the what we call meter per second as a unit. Then, the next one, we have the VI or the initial velocity, which is also used the what we call meter per second unit. So, the third one is we have the A for acceleration, which is used the meter per second square unit. And the next one is the time, or the T for the time, which is used the seconds for the unit. And the last one is we have the D, which is the displacement, which is used the meter for the unit. Okay, so let us have some sample problem here. So we have the sample problem number one. So, from rest, a car accelerate at 8 meter per second square for 10 seconds. So, for the first one, uh, we are going to find for the position of the car at the end of the 10 seconds. And for the letter B, we are going to identify the velocity of the car at the end of the 10 seconds. So, for the first step, we need to find first for the given. So, we are going to find for the A or the acceleration, the T for the time, the VI for the initial velocity, and for the distance. Okay. So, for our acceleration, of course, we have the 8 meter per second sphere. So, it is already underlined. And for our time or the T, we have the 10 seconds. Okay. So, the next one, we need to find for the initial velocity, which is we are going to assume that the initial velocity is zero. So, we have zero meter per second. And since we already have our three variables, so it means that we need to find for the distance. Okay, so the position of the car at the end of the 10 seconds. Now, for us to get the formula so it is very easy no for the acceleration so it is it is checked by the blue color so we can find the acceleration in the first formula and we can also find it in the second formula and we can also set uh, find it in the fourth formula but we cannot find the acceleration in the third formula so therefore it is already crossed out okay for the time 
it is checked by the red color okay so we can find it in the first and second formula but not on the fourth one so therefore the fourth formula is already crossed out okay so we only have two remaining options okay so for the initial velocity it is checked by the color yellow okay so we cannot find it or we can find it also in uh, our second formula also in first formula okay and for the last which is the distance okay checked by the violet color so obviously we cannot find it in the first uh first formula therefore we are going to use the second formula so for the second formula we're going to use the d equals to the vi t plus one half it is square divided by the two okay so for the second step all all we have to do is to substitute the different variables that we can found in this formula so for our initial velocity we have zero meter per second plus the time which is 10 seconds plus the one half okay so it is already 0.5 here and we have 8 meter per second square then multiply by the 10 seconds and then square okay so our distance is we have 0 plus the 4 meter per second multiplied by the 100 second squared okay and then okay so in the next we can uh, we can cancel already the second since we need to find for the distance wherein we are going to use the meter as a unit okay okay so if you are going to multiply the 4 meters to 100 so it is equivalent to 400 meter okay I forgot to tell you class no that uh, the seconds in 100 so we need to cancel it out also okay so our distance here or our answer for this one is we have 400 meter okay so that is already the distance okay and for the letter v so we need to find for the velocity of the car okay again so we need to find for the formula first okay so our acceleration so we can find it in the first second and fourth formula but not on the third so it is already cross out for the time so we can find it on the first and second formula but not on the third so it is already crossed out also and okay so this time we already have our formula so we can find it also on our first formula so we are going to use the vf equals to 80 plus the vi okay again we are going to substitute the different variables so we have zero meter per second plus eight meter per second squared multiplied by 10 seconds and for the next one obviously we can cancel the zero meter per second and we are going to cancel also the squared here since we are going to find for the velocity so our final velocity is here is we have the 80 meter per second okay so as easy as that and now so from this different UAM formulas so we are going to use the X variable so from this it becomes this okay so this time these are the variables that we are going to use for the next sample problem okay but okay so if you notice the time and distance here so i did not put the x variable since the time and then the distance are both independent 
Okay, so let us have a sample problem number 2. So, with an initial velocity of 20 meter per second, a car accelerated at 8 meter per second square for 10 seconds. So, for letter A, so we're going to find for the position of the car at the end of the 10 seconds and we are going to find also for the velocity of the car at the end of 10 seconds. Okay, so let us find for the given first for our uh, first step. Okay. So, for our acceleration or the AX, we have 8 meter per second. The next one is we have the 10 seconds for the time. For our initial velocity or initial horizontal velocity is we have 20 meter per second. So, we already have our three variables. Therefore, we need to find for the DX here. Okay. Of course, obviously, we cannot find the AX in the first and second and up to the third formula. Therefore, we cannot find in the third one. So, it is already crossed out. For the next one, we have the time. So, we can find it on the first and second formula but not on the fourth. So, it is already crossed out by the yellow color. And for the next one, Okay, so we can find the VI on both the first and second formula. Okay, so the first formula is already crossed out. Therefore, we are going to use the second formula here. Okay, so our formula is we have the dx equals to VI xt plus 1 half axt squared divided by the 2. Okay, so we need to substitute again the different variables. So, we have 20 meter per second, the 10 seconds, the 0.5, the 8 meter per second squared, and the 10 second squared. Okay, so you may cancel the same unit, the seconds. So, it becomes 200 meter plus the 4 meter per second squared multiplied by 100 since it is already... Uh, Multiply by itself. Okay. So, dx becomes 200 meter plus 400 meter. Therefore, our answer or our final distance is 600 meter. Okay. For the next one. We're going to find for the velocity of the car at the end of the 10 seconds. Okay. So, the same given. So, we cannot find the ax in the third formula so we can find there in the first second and then the fourth so the third formula is already crossed out by the red color and for our time okay so the fourth formula is already crossed out since we can find it in the first and second formula only okay and we can also find this yellow one or the initial horizontal velocity in first and second formula so, therefore, ayan, so we have the final velocity or final horizontal velocity. We can find it on the first formula. Therefore, the formula that we are going to use is we have the VFX equals to AXT plus VIX. Okay, of course, we need to substitute the different variables so it becomes 8 meter per second square multiply by 10 seconds plus 20 meter per second so it becomes here we have 80 meter per second square plus 20 meter per second so you, you can cancel the squared already since we need to find for the final velocity not the acceleration okay so our final horizontal velocity here is we have 100 meter per second. Okay, so as easy as that. Okay, and now it's your turn to try it by yourself. I know that you are, you are all exhausted. So this time, you may write your answer on your notebook or any piece of paper. And for your assignment, 
So, a car accelerates uniformly from 0 to 12 minutes per second in 11.5 seconds. So, you're going to find for the acceleration of the car in meter per second square. And you're going to find for the distance or the position of the car by the time it reaches the velocity of 12 meter per second. Okay, so this time take a deep breath everyone since we are already done and always remember everything is easy. Okay, so God is in control. You can do everything if God is with you whatever your 